Hey there guys, Ben over here bringing you a custom moveset video. In the past I've called these SO Pokemon videos, SO standing for Super Originality, but um, I'm actually renaming it to Custom Moveset Video because I feel like the word original isn't describing what I really mean. Um, when I, what I mean by original is just something that people aren't really using or hasn't really really been touched on greatly, but I think it's a really good set and I want to bring it to people's attention and show that I personally use it. And um, that's really what this video and other videos of the same genre in this series are about. And I feel like original in the Pokemon community has gotten this connotation of meaning anti-standard. When a lot of times, custom move sets mimic standard sets on other Pokemon. Or it's something that you could definitely see as a standardized set. It's just that people haven't really... Uh, found it you know it's kind of a, a, a diamond in the rough so that's what this video is about this one is going to be about Electivire in the newly released RU tier in fifth generation which is a tier below uh, UU I'll leave a link below so you guys can check it out I'm sure it'll fluctuate a lot in the coming months as to which Pokemon stay RU and go up to UU and etc etc but um, currently Electivire is RU at the time of making this video and I feel like it makes a really great anti-lead I should have put it on here, but uh, Electivire gets the ability Vital Spirit in the 5th generation as a Dream World ability, and it is currently released. It is legal. And Vital Spirit, much like the same as Primate Pad, it prevents you from being put to sleep. So it's uh, along the same lines as Insomnia, which you know Hypno and many others have gotten in the past. And I think it's a really great ability for a lead Pokemon, because sleep leads are really popular, especially in um, RU, where Venomoth is uh, Venomoth and Butterfree are both RU. And I feel like Baton Passing is going to be a very popular team build in this uh, particular tier, especially with the current metagame. And I think that this makes a really great counter to that. So the move set is going to be Substitute, Thunder Punch, Focus Punch, and Ice Punch. And um, with Leftovers, the Natures and EVs are going to be Jolly Nature, 252 Attack, 252 Speed, and 4 HP. The reason for that is because Electivire has 95 base speed naturally, so you're definitely going to want to have max speed EVs in a jolly nature so you can outspeed as many things as possible, including the fastest possible Venomoth or Butterfree sets um, without using a Choice Scarf, which I don't think any of the popular or any of the effective ones, I should say, will be using a Choice Scarf. So um, that's the explanation on the natures and EVs. Max attack, of course, because Electivire doesn't have good defenses. He's pretty frail. He's not designed to take hits, and you're going to protect yourself with a substitute regardless. The move sets uh, substitute is the key move here. People really don't expect substitute on an Electivire. I've tested this set um, kind of a lot, to be honest, and it really has not failed me. It's done very, very well. It's caught many people off guard. And at the end of this uh, description, I'm going to leave a quick you know, a couple minute clip of a battle I had where you can see Electivire go to work. So you can see what the set does. And um, Thunder Punch is there for obligatory stab. Ice Punch hits a lot of things in the current RU tier. Um, Golurk, I've found, is very popular. And as soon as I reveal Focus Punch, um, they try to bring it in. It's also a good switch on being immune to uh, Thunder Punch. So Ice Punch hits Golurk, which is important. It uh, OHKOs. Well, it might not OHKO if it's a defensive variant, but it will definitely deal with Torterra, who otherwise is immune to your electric move, and if it's a defensive set, can take focus punches and EQ you. So Ice Punch deals with that. Eviolite Gligger is RU, which is four times weak to Ice Punch. And um, there's a few other guys running around that are definitely going to be weak to Ice Punch that uh, resist your other moves, at least Thunder Punch. So I think Ice Punch is the appropriate move there. Leftovers, because there's not really any other item to give it. You could give it Expert Belt, but I've found that the difference in damage from Expert Belt versus Normal is not making a huge difference with this set, especially since you outspeed most things and 2-8 KO, since you'll oftentimes be behind a sub. Another good reason this makes a good, or another reason that this makes a good anti-lead is because you can um, substitute on Stealth Rocks. A lot of Pokemon that learn Stealth Rock don't really fear Evire. So they might go for subs uh, for Stealth Rocks right off the bat. In my personal our current RU tier team, I lead with a Sharpedo, at least on the team preview, and then I switch it up to an Evire. And I find that a lot of the things that they bring in to check Sharpedo are things they're going to want to switch out against Evire, especially since it's so early in the match. 
and it'll give you a free substitute and let you put big dents into the opponent's team, which you can then uh, monopolize or capitalize on later. So that's pretty much been the uh, <laughs> summer summary for this uh, set. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. It'll help the video get noticed, and um, it shows me your support and all that kind of stuff. So thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day. Um, if you're interested in seeing how the set operates, um, I'm going to include a quick clip. <laughs> um, I realize that my opponent is not exactly the brightest tool in the shed in this particular clip, but that's not really what it's about. It still exemplifies what the set does and just how effective it can be against a lot of pokes. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and peace out.